The CBS4 Tropical Storm Laura update. Good afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. We're going to break into the Dolphin Show here for just a minute. I promise we'll get back to it uh, very quickly. And then the rest of the afternoon, it's local programming, and we'll have the new advisory at 5 o'clock straight up. So hopefully you'll tune in then at 5, because I think I think at least we want to see what's still going on. It's a storm that's strengthening now that's to our southeast. It's Laura here, just to the south of Puerto Rico, and generally moving in a pretty quick west direction now. The weather really, really deteriorating on Puerto Rico there. And, and if you look right away, immediately what captures your eye is this little spin right here that kind of takes this hard right turn and goes right into Puerto Rico. These are little wobbles of little what we call mesovortices. These are small little swirls in a bigger circulation here, and they sometimes spin out. They're not that noticeable when storms are out at sea. We don't, they happen all the time, but when we really pay attention is when they're close to land because then you have a rather uh, severe uh, local impacts. So right now, the southern part of Puerto Rico right there really getting hammered. A uh, wind gust probably above hurricane force uh, because the overall storm now has 60 mile an hour wind. So uh, it's, it's these little things <clears throat> we watch very, very closely. Now, you're also drawn to the fact that it looks like all of a sudden it's turned now. It's going to cross Puerto Rico and end up in the Atlantic. This is the Atlantic up here, uh, the Caribbean down here. I don't think that's what's going on. I think this is just a smaller piece of the circulation. There's still some wind shear that has blown that little piece away. In fact, the National Hurricane Center is putting the center point here. Wow, that looks different, huh? Because you would at least put it somewhere in here. Uh, the storm, once again, has some wind shear blowing on it, so that's blowing the heavier storms behind the low-level center here. This, of course, is the feature we track now getting into the Mona Passage there. In fact, if we look and kind of like line up all of the, those tracks there of where the center has been, it's been ahead of the main bad weather here. This would be the kind of case where the center passes you and then the bad weather comes in <clears throat> right behind it there. But uh, you can still see lots of big thunderstorms down here. So that's given us confidence that this is not going to suddenly make a jump up here into the Atlantic. Here's the two o'clock advisory. Winds now at 50 miles an hour. It's strengthening, moving to the west at 18 miles an hour and uh, just getting into the Mona Passage there. That yellow area, that's the tropical storm conditions, tropical storm warnings ahead of it. And a new future track will come in at 5 p.m., but this is the threat cone from from 11 a.m. advisory this morning. And you can see there it's forecast to stay very near uh, or over Cuba as we go into the Sunday and Monday time frame. And even though we are not in the cone here, that yellow area, that's the threat of tropical storm conditions that does extend up into the Keys there. Uh, of course, the worst weather there would be the closest approach. So what are we doing now besides watching the Dolphin Show? Well, uh, we're thinking about the possibility of power outages on Monday. Uh, secure anything that could blow around your yard. The worst of the weather by far is going to be in the Keys. There is a tropical storm threat there. Right now for Miami, uh, Dade, and Broward, it looks like just gusty conditions and rain on Monday. Uh, maybe some tropical storm wind gusts, but a very, very low and a tropical storm threat for mainland South Florida. The Keys, it's a bit higher. Of course, we'll have that next advisory coming in right at 5 o'clock. Hope to see you then.